Uh, hello and good morning. So today we have another techniques of the integrals. The technique is what is integration by partial fraction, but which which type of the equation we have, which type of the question we have, rational function. And we mentioned before, if you have rational function, first of all, you try to do what? To use long division in the 8.1, we mentioned that. So here we are, we have another thing. And we say, if the numerator, numerator is greater than denominator, we are going to use long division then we are going to solve and i remember during that lecture one of the students asked so how about if numerator is not greater than or equal to the denominator we say that we are going to use fraction partial fraction so first of all when i say partial fraction means that first of all we have a rational function means that we have something like that as we say we have p of nx over q of mx what do you mean by that means that we have two polynomials first polynomial second polynomial one of them up down numerator denominator the first has degree and the second also has another degree so in that case we call our structure our expression as a what as a rational function understood so rational function like that for example I say f of x is equal to, for example, x squared plus 5x minus 2 over x3 minus 5x plus 2. So in that case, we say this is a rational function, 8.5. So now we got the idea about rational function. We know now, we know about rational function. So how about Here's the rational function, 5x. Now, how about another concept, partial fraction? What do you mean by partial fraction? By partial fraction, we mean we make that one to fraction fraction. So this is the partial one, first partial. This is the second partial. So we call that one fraction fraction and we call each one as a partial. So we separate them. How? That's the idea. That's the objects of today's. Our objects is what? To get the, how to divide by that. So five, X minus three over X squared, two X minus three. So how we change that one to two parts? First of all, why we use that method? We mentioned that if you have a fraction, think about len, right? So can I solve that one by len? Can we, can I solve that question by len? No, why? Because x squared, uh -huh, we have x squared, like integral of here. Integral of here. Forget about the other part, left, right part. So now I have that integral. So derivative of here is equal to 2x minus 2. And I don't have 2x minus 2 here. Understood? This is the first. The second, we cannot use any formula. It's not inverse, it's not anyone. Because if I have that one, maybe I change to the tan, something like that. But with that one, it's not easy. So there is no way to solve it. By 8.2, we cannot. Why? Because there's no two functions to your UDV. 8.3, as trigonometric functions not deal with that one. 8.4, it was substitution. You should have a formula, right? And there is no way. So that's why last idea that I have for here, partial. 
And I know this is polynomial. This is polynomial. And I'm going to use that method because I have a polynomial, polynomial. So how we divide, how we make the partial. First of all, try to make that one to the parentheses, brackets, okay? Make that a parentheses. So we have X, X, and I know I have a three positive, negative, 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 positive, and I have what? I have three by one. So to be sure that one, multiply the two nearest and two farthest, and you'll get what? Minus two. So it means that your factor, we call this a factor. Your factor is good. Understood? Make the denominator as a factor. Denominator here as a factor here, like that. Clear? Okay, second, write A over first part plus, usually plus, B over second part. Understood? Use the first part, A, B. Okay. Now, we, our work, our duty is what? To find the value of A and B. How? I'm going to use the right side. Find the common denominator. I know that one is common denominator. Multiply these together. Multiply these together. So I'll get minus 3. X plus 1. Then cross. So A x plus 1, b, x minus 3. Do you have any question? Yes? Do it. Understood? Question? So we cross. Okay. Next step, I'm going to multiply that one, x minus 3, x plus 1. I'm going to multiply here by there. How? Ax plus a, bx minus 3b. Am I right? Then, next step, I see that one equal to what? Good. Now, I have two fractions and I have equality between them. So in my mind, I say X over Y equal to Z over D. So or, or over Y, sorry. So in that case, Y equal to Y. So X also should be equal to Y, to Z. So uh -huh. Denominator equal to denominator. So that's why I say 5x minus 3 is equal to ax bx a minus 3b. Do you have any question for the next step? Numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. That's why. Now I arrange that one as a, a plus b, make x as a common, and make that numbers as a common, as a Another thing, I have 5x minus 3. So why? Because I'm going to compare. Compare which? Compare that with x. Compare that with numbers. So in that case, 5 will be what? a plus b. And minus 3 will be what? a minus 3b. Did you understand that also? Hello? No. Good. Till here, there is no question, right? Okay. So now, which things with X? In the left side, just I have five. Which things with X 
in the right side. A plus B. That's why I say A plus B equal to five. Now you got it. Now, which things is alone without any X? In the here, I have A minus three B equal to what? To the left side. Here, without X, just I have not minus three. You got it? Now I have minus three. So, yes, we just choose it. So that one will be the first equation, second equation. I made two equations. Why? Because I have two variables, A and B. So I'm gonna find the value, right? Now, how we find them, you can multiply that one by minus, that one by minus, that one by minus, am I right? And add all, A minus A is gone, right? 4B equal to eight. And of course, B equal to two. Substitute in any equation that you like. So A plus two will be five. Then A will be what? Three. Understood. Now, my integral, 5x minus 3, x minus 3, x plus 1, dx, is changed to, uh -huh, changed to two things. x minus 3, x plus 1. So a and b, do you remember that? A, here's A, and B, here's B. So I'm going to write three and two. And B, be sure that this integral is 100% easier than the previous one, of course. How? Because I know the first integral is equal to what? Three dx x minus three plus two dx x plus one. So is equal to what? Ln of x minus three, ln of x plus one, understood. When you, when you finish the partial fraction, rational function by partial fraction, the result that we get after the fractions, I don't say 100%, but I say mostly we have lin or we have u du or box d box by bringing to up or we have tan inverse formula. inverse formula for example mostly like that uh -huh. we solve now or or maybe in the second part the shape is like that and you know we bring this one to up and i'll get u d or back box two. or the shape is like that Understood. After fraction, after solving, finding A and B and C or whatever we have, then when we do something, we will get one of these three, maybe, or mostly. I don't say 100%, but mostly. You got it? So how we need to review all this thing together. So here we are. Here's the first example. Here's A2, B3, does not make a change. Because we have here's A with the X minus three, here's B with X plus one. And if you sweep A, B, it's okay, because uh -huh, here's B over X plus one, here's A with the X minus one, which we solved again before, and we got the same, A and B. Do you have any question? Yes. Okay. 
long division equal or greater long division but maybe after long division and we have an example fortunately after long division we use partial fraction you got it maybe after that one you, you use and you have an example don't worry question about the first example so i'm going to the second example maybe a little bit that was strange for you but in the second i hear the rules told you many things here we have that type and that type so now i have this example how you solve it we need many works together so and that is classic way i'm going to show you the short way later but not now because we need that classic for this type that's why i cannot skip the classic way the classic method so i'm going to solve the x squared plus 4x plus 1 x minus 1 x plus 1 x x plus 3 all right dx uh -huh. We can also solve that one. If I multiply denominator, I'll get what? X to power three, right? So fortunately, the denominator factors. When I say factor, you mean you know what I mean. Fortunately, the denominator factor. So it's ready, first step ready. So I'm going to change that one to A, B, C, if I have money, we have money. Okay. A, B, C, go. So, and I know is equal to what? Here we have the old version. So here we have what? A. What's the common denominator? All of them, right? X minus one, X plus one, X plus three. So it means that x plus one, x plus three multiplied by a. So I will have x plus one, x plus three. Do you know why? Good. Again, plus I have b. B should be multiplied by that one and that one. So bx minus one, bx plus three. Finally, c, x minus one, x plus one. Which one? That one? Yes, why not? Later you can do it. Now the result will be what? Uh, we just multiply. A multiply. So x by x, x square, 3x, 1x, 3 plus b multiply, x square. 3x minus x minus 3. C multiply x squared minus 1. Am I right? Okay. Over the same. x minus 1, x plus 1. x plus 3. So I'm going to... That one, nicer. Good. Now, I see the other part will be what? Look, will be a x squared plus four a. Sorry, four a x plus three a plus b x squared plus two b x minus 3b plus c, cx squared minus c. Am I right? Kindly check with me. It's true, like that. Yeah, then later, we have the same common denominator. Okay, I see is equal to numerator will be a, 
look how we arrange them x square x square x square so i say a plus b plus c with x square plus a now time for x x so i have 4a plus 2b with x am i right now it remains what another thing without the numbers so just without x sorry numbers now i say 3a minus 3b minus c understood over what over the same denominator x minus one x plus one x minus or plus three understood now it's time to compare compare what by what in the left side mm -hmm. in the left side we we had what let me check my question x square 4x plus 1. So in the left, I have x square 4x plus 1. And here, the same denominator. So as I told you, that one equal to that one. So it means that x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to a, b, c, x square, 4a, 2bx, 3a, 3b, c. Now it's time to compare. Compare which one by which one? Jamaat. Guys, look at here. We have x squared. We have x squared. So it means that a plus b plus c equal to. Do you have any question? Again, now. We have with x, with x, so 4a, 2b equal to 4. Third, the third question, third equation, I have one with nothing. So 3a, 3b minus c equal to 1. That will be the third equation. So my duty change to find the solution of these three together. So how we solve that one? Yalla. How? Yalla. A plus B. 3a, 3b minus c equal to 1. Just add them, you will get what? 4a, a, minus 2b, exactly, minus 2b equal to right? Understand? Hello? Clear? Why? Because in the second equation, I have just A and B. That's why. So bring the second equation. Now I have the second and with the fourth. The second equation is what? It's uh, 4, 2, 4, 2. And here also we have 4, 2, Four, two, four. From equation two and four, we get, look, now is equal to what? Just add them, right? So I'll get what? 
So A equal to Am I right? So how we solve that one? A equal to, let me check. Yes, here's A. How we get B? Substitute in equation, which one is easier? Second or four, up to you, second. So we get what? We get four multiply three over four A plus 2b equal to 4. So 2b is equal to, it's not equal to 4, it's equal to 1. And b, 1 over 2, here we are. How about c? So substitute value of a and b in which equation first third up to you so i'm going to put in the first first plus a b c one a b c one so i'll get what three over four one over two C equal to what? One. So I'm going to multiply by four. That one for me easier. So I get three, two, four C equal to four. Or at 20K, you can make a common denominator. You can find common denominator up to you. I think that one easier for me. So I'm, I multiplied by four. So I get three. Two, four, C, that one. So five minus one. The result will be what? Equal to. Let me check if I did a mistake or not. Everything is good. So now integral of X squared. 4x plus 1 over x minus 1, x plus 1, x plus 3 is equal to what? Equal to 3 integrals, right? 3 integrals. Don't care about the minus, put all here positive. Okay. A, A, it was what? A, it was one over two? Three over four. B, it was one over two. C, it was minus one over four. Now, this integral is direct, why? 3 over 4, ln of x minus 1. 1 over 2, ln of x plus 1. Am I right? Minus 1 over 4, ln x plus 3, plus c. You can see after finding a, b, c, you will have all ln or k, c, anything that you want. Question. Yes. Chipki. How? No. How is all that? We cannot do. How? <coughs> Why? Because that one's equal to one to one. No, it's not like that. No. Okay. Any question? Good. So it depends on two things. The first idea, how to 
separate how to sorry factor the denominator by parenthesis parenthesis the second for the a b the third fine value of a b how by equation by multiplication we might we do we did money then later uh, when you find the value be sure that you will get tan inverse len or box d box understood so i think that one will be let me just check the example Yeah. Two examples remains, which is easy. Kindly help me, yalla. 6x plus 7, it's easy that one. 6x plus 7 dx over x plus 2 square. So how you solve square? Hmm? Separate of what? So let me give you some notes. If I have x, x plus 1, dx, how you solve that? And we say, look, please, a plus b for x, for x plus 1, understood. Now, if I change that one, another example, I see equal to a, b, C, C for the last one, A for X, B for X square. Understood? If I have repetition, careful. Now I'm going to solve this example again. DX, X, X plus one square. So I say A, I have one, two, three, B, C, X, X plus one, X plus one square. Understood. So if you have a square, we should duplicate the variables by A, B, B, C, okay? If you have X means that X minus zero. So if you have X means that you have X for A. When it's duplicate two, means that we have two variables x x so in that one we, we write x x square then the third one clear if you have a square you have two variables a b you got it so how about here look one variable a now I have square need two variables so b c b c b for the linear C for the square. How about if I have cubic one? Yalla. Yes, X, X plus one, three. I say like that. Uh -huh. A for X, B for the linear, C for the square, D for the cubic. Understood? Yalla, tell me about that one. You should, it's your turn. Tell me about that one. Yalla. Four, you are right, yalla. A? Yeah. B? Thank you. C? D? How about if I change that one to square? Now you control the situation. Okay. Going back to the example, we have x plus two square, six x plus seven. I think it was something like that, right? So how we solve that one? I have square, so I say. Understood, right? Common denominator is what? Uh, actually, if you don't know how to find a common denominator, in college algebra, I have a video. We have a college algebra. I'm going to use the link for you. To, in 8 point, uh, we have a 1.1. I mentioned how to find the common denominator, okay, or least common denominator. Then you can follow this. We have three types, how we find them, okay? 
so you can review them in case if you need maybe you don't need to and i mentioned the time i see look at this watch this video from this minute to that minute okay just if i forget remember me later so now how we find that one we are going going to use the biggest one largest exponent because we need common least common denominator and we divide that one by that one i will get x plus two so i will get a multiply x plus two plus b with nothing if you ask me how later was the video you know how we get that one so i'm going to repeat it for you again quickly if we have if we, we try to find common denominator and they are we, in there we mentioned the third case we have three cases totally different thought the same or uh, similar to each other or close to each other or multiplication to each other so in that case i say equal to 6x plus 7 over x plus 2 equal to the largest exponent that one you multiply here and i'll get a x plus 2 one of them one of them multiplied then plus nothing to be now i will get what a x plus 2 a plus b equal to 6x plus 7 and denominator denominator so i'm going to cancel you know why it's time to what time to compare compare x with x so a is equal to what six uh-huh that one is easy and b equal to what so 2a i mean equation number one 2a plus b equal to what seven one year from first equation two multiply six plus b equal to seven so b is equal to what minus five am i right 12 minus seven is equal to minus five so i got the variable quickly so this integral will be 6x plus 7 over x plus 2 square is equal to x plus 2 dx x plus 2 square dx here we are 6b minus 5 understood yalla how we solve that one you have a note i gave you many points so the first integral is equal to what six len okay x plus two how are the second okay thank you so use box d box so i will get what x plus two we see that we have three cases at most now box d box so i'll get what and the result will be what last thing understood that one come to down to numerator and that one multiply will get positive and that's all we have so it wasn't hard that example why because a and b we can solve a and b quickly directly and here we are here's the result last example i'm not going to solve for you actually because you know about it i have what rational function now in all the previous examples none of them denominator less than numerator no none of them here greater than here right even equal 
all of them less. Degree of numerator was less. Here was less. P, it was less than Q. Now, but in this example, as you ask me, we have what? Greater or equal? Uh -huh. Here's to power three. Here's to power two, the degree. So for that purpose, we are going to use what? In 8.1, long division. We use the long division. So here's the long division. Actually, I'm not going to talk about long division because we did many, many times. So here we are. Here's the result. Here's the result. Now I have this result. So 2x plus this is uh, q. This is a reminder, r. Then after that one, I saw that in the first example, I saw that, that one. Huh? A it was 3, b it was 2. So here's a, here's b. And here's the example, it's easy. Shall I repeat the long division? Do you need any question about that? Do you have any question about? Okay. That's enough for today, because we have a quiz. So let me stop then. I make attendance. I'll stop also sharing.